Alright, so this is going to be the tutorial for getting um, started with um, uh, creating your, um, uh, your uh, designs for your, um, your abstract art. So this is how we're going to get started. So I actually want you guys to look at this uh, resource first. Um, I'm going to upload it on Google Classroom, but right now I'm just going to show you it on the Google Docs. I haven't had a chance to upload it yet, but... <laughs> Um, a big part of your abstract art or your um, abstract designs is you're going to have to um, uh, incorporate the, um, the basically like the elements of arts and principal designs. But um, today we're just going to focus on just the um, principal designs. But basically how like principal designs on the art, arts works is, um, uh, you know, I kind of think of it as like, uh, you know, when you're like um, baking a cake. So, um, you know, and first, um, you know, baking a cake, uh, you know, you have to like, um, you know, figure out how you want the cake to look, how um, the overall appearance of the cake looks, you know, you want a big cake, you want a skinny cake, or, um, you know, you want one um, that's like more rounded or square shape. So, you know, that's kind of like what we're figuring out for um, today. So, uh, you know, in, in order to like kind of like um, design your cake, uh, you know, we're gonna look at the principal designs. And this is a really good handout. For some reason it's not fully loaded yet, but um, yeah, you want to take a look at it though. Uh, but you know, there's uh, balance. For some reason I can't scroll down, but you should be able to scroll down on the um, once on the Google Docs. But you know, you're gonna think about balance, contrast, emphasis, pattern, unity, movement, and um, rhythm. And then like you know, that's basically how you're gonna you know make the cake look like overall. And then the elements of art, which uh, you know we went over before. So as these ones up here, it's color, form, line, shape, space, texture, value. Um, these are going to be like kind of like the uh, the details or the toppings you're going to add to the cake to you know make it um, you know look appealing. So yeah, today we're just going to work on just the um, principle of uh, design. So I'm actually going to go back to this. I'm, I'm going to actually download this file on my computer. So if you uh, right click on it. Save image as, just so I can see it a little bit easier. And you can also download it on your computer too, that's fine. And I'm going to find my folder, desktop, uh, 1A. I'm just going to save it in there. Alright, so I'm just going to click on this just to pop it up so I have it ready to use. Again, these are like words we've went over before. Closer in on it. I'll just leave it like this. I can kind of read it. <laughs> All right. So you're gonna open up the, uh, the Adobe Illustrator, create a new file. So file, new, and and I'm just gonna make it the uh, longer composition. So just change your uh, orientation to this. Uh, just make sure everything is left the same. Click OK. And then I'm gonna have like a long space to work with. All right, so uh, before we even um, do anything, uh, I do want you guys to um, set up your um, own um, space to work. So uh, you're gonna to have to uh, create, so basically the composition we're gonna make is we're gonna make boxes. So uh, you're gonna click on the rectangle tool. If you don't wanna to get to it, you just click and hold the mouse button rectangle tool. And, uh, and then the, the white fill here, just make sure it's uh, crossed out so that way it doesn't fill in anything. And just make sure it's like black outlines. But basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create uh, three boxes here. So I'm gonna have one, two, and three. And uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm holding the uh, shift key just to keep it the same uh, ratio, the same size. I don't get the same look of the box, but I'm just gonna click on the box, the one I made. I hit Command C to copy. Command V to paste. And again, these are all hotkeys that um, I gave you earlier. They're also located on the classroom notes. Uh, but for today, though, we're going to um, create three different uh, compositions for um, uh, your abstract design. So again, this kind of relates back to your um, SLO test of um, organization, where I told you guys to, um, you know, create a composition, but um, you know, I wanted you guys to like think about like how you're gonna organize them. You know, some of you guys did drawings. Um, other of you, um, you know, use the shapes to um, uh, design the space. So you know, hopefully, like after this project's done or as you're working on this project, uh, you know, you'll have like a better idea of um, how you're gonna organize this um, box space. So 
Okay, so you're gonna make three boxes here, and um, and then uh, we haven't really gone over the layers yet, but uh, basically on your layers window here, I want you to double click on layers. Um, you can just call this uh, just double click and just call it template. So you know what it is, and then uh, I want you to click um, right beside the eyeball here. This is the bo this is gonna lock it, so that way I won't click on this by accident. So one of your layers is gonna be your template, and I want you to go down here and click here and create a new layer. And this is the um, you can call this your work layer if you want. So this is gonna be like the layer you're gonna work on. So never click on the template box; it's not gonna work. Is that we locked it already? But your layer, this is your work layer. So um, you know I, I know some of you had like trouble with the um. Uh, template we use for your um, your last assignment. I should have showed you guys how to um, lock the layer. That way, it's a lot easier to you click and drag and move things around. <laughs> All right, so uh, you know, very similar to what we did before. Again, you want to work on your work layer. You're gonna type in your name. So I'm gonna type in Dave Juan, and using the selection tool, click and drag, make it bigger. Again, I'm holding the shift key, so you know, just make sure not to stretch and skew your name. Hold the shift key. You can drag, make it larger, or you can also go to your characters window, or you go Windows, type, and then characters, and you can also resize your uh, name that way too. Uh, but you know, I'm just going to choose like a font that I want to use. So I'm going to click on the name. An easier way to like screw through the fonts is if you click on the name and then click on this uh, where the type is. You can actually hit the up and down arrow keys, and that'll change your um, the type for you. <laughs> so. You know, you want to find like a type that has interesting shapes to use, but you know, I kind of like these more like old school types just because uh, they, you know, have a lot of interesting curves and um, you know, bolded areas. Like you see, like W here, where it's like a little bit thicker, the lines here, and skinnier here. So um, it's up to you which ones you want to use, but just. Um, yeah, I really want you guys to just look at the um, shapes and the forms of the letters because basically what we're going to do is we're going to actually, oh, that one's kind of interesting. Basically, we're going to cut out these uh, letters out to, you know, create some sh shapes and forms. So I'm actually going to use this one because I think this one's actually really interesting to look at. So, you know, like what we did before, we're going to do object, expand. So this is going to turn your um, name into a shape. And then object and ungroup. And that will uh, change the um, uh, that'll change the uh, you know allow you to move each uh, letter separately. So when you're uh, changing the um, the letters, okay. So basically, one of these boxes, I want you to um, you know we're just going to use just the shape tool, and you're going to create a composition just using the shape tool. So one's going to just be focused with the shapes. Another will be, um, you know, combine these shapes to make a new shape, and then the other one will be like, um, you know, however you want to do it. So I want you to um, try to experiment with, um, you know, those two methods first. So now, you know, obviously it's kind of like hard to figure out what kind of a composition you want. So, uh, you know, I think it's real important to look at that handout I, I gave you guys. So balance, contrast, emphasis, pattern, unity, movement, and rhythm. So. Uh, you know, just to make things a little bit easier on you guys, uh, you know, I think it's better if you just kind of like focus on maybe just like one or two that you want to use in your um, your composition. Um, one thing you'll realize, um, especially when we um, worked on your um, the review for your elements of arts and the principal designs, a lot of these things do overlap with uh, one another. So, like for example, like if you look at the examples here, even on this one, like if you look at the emphasis here. So basically, it had like one gray circle, and then the rest were black. But basically, the emphasis was that gray circle because it, it brought you to that focal point. But you know, if you look at it, they're all circles. So in a way, it's kind of like creating a pattern. Basically, a pattern's um, repeated elements, uh, such as shapes or colors. So it's being it's repeating that circle pattern. So a lot of these uh, elements of ours and principal designs, they do overlap with uh, one another. So. You know, you, again, you see pattern down here and even in this one. Um, but basically, like a, um, you know, when you do like a really good job on, um, you know, designing your space or organizing your space, because these are tools to plan and organize your artwork, um, in a way, you know, it's going to basically be using um, most, if not all, of these um, uh, principal designs. So, 
you know, I would just focus on just like one or two. Like um, the ones I, I really like using like pattern and maybe uh, movement of mine. So those are the ones I usually circle. But you know, you, you can kind of basically choose like which ones you um, you know you kind of want to use. Uh, 